Yeah. All right, cool. So we have set our timer. We're going to start our timer. And can you please introduce yourself? I'm Gino Roman. I am the special education teacher in the goals program at Northampton High School. Cool. And you have a couple of number of freshmen this year? Three new students coming, yes. That's excellent. That's excellent. So what do you like about that? What do you like about the freshmen? I like their excitement about being in a new place. Um, a lot of times they'll tell me that they're nervous about it, and I understand that completely. I get nervous, and I've been there for a long time. Um, but just the, that underlying excitement and I guess also feeling like, wow, I'm in high school. This is yeah. like the top, you know? Yeah. No, I, and I like what you say. Like, I always find the first week to be totally exhausting, yeah. you know? And I've taught for years, and that first yeah. week, I'm, by the end, I'm just kaput. And oh, yeah. yeah, and that's, that's not us just walking into the building. So right. it makes a lot of sense. What's one thing you want to do this year being kind of particular in terms of your teaching and the strategy you might have for this year? Well, when we closed early in March, we weren't allowed in special education to have all my students together in one class. So I was working with everybody individually and using a um slideshows and things but i heard that we're allowed to now so it's just going to be nice to try to build community virtually mm -hmm. you know and that's that's the a big challenge but it's also an exciting challenge because i think it's important for um teaching those skills you know yeah. respecting other people's time talking and everything oh yeah well that's something we all have to gonna do i think as, as we just found out we have professional development today so you know there's a lot of that um yeah. there's some cool i actually there's this drawing game online where people draw and then the other people have to guess what it is i kind of want to use that a little bit it's a cool game i'll send it to you yeah please yeah it's, it's, it's really neat you know and i think games are part of building community and morale oh, yeah. yeah definitely we do a lot of games in my class and i'm hoping to be able to adapt even more for virtual learning because yeah. I love games. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. And they, they use all those skills. They use analytical skills and all that stuff. Yeah. So what would you like as a freshman? How would you describe yourself? What was I like as, ooh, um, very shy, very, mm -hmm. very shy, very quiet, scared. Um, I pretty much kept to myself and well, school is different. You know, it's, we're talking freshman in 1973 mm -hmm. and it just was I had like there were like 50 students in the classroom yeah so it was it was a lot different so it was very easy for me to kind of blend in with the furniture yeah did you go to a big high school was it a big yeah, yeah it was a big high school yeah yeah yes. yeah no really things were different um so um now what's one piece of advice you have for your students this fall I would say to be open to meeting all kinds of people and trying something new, mm -hmm. you know, something you never did before sitting with people. Maybe, well, we're not sitting at lunch the same way, but at some point you will. Yeah. And you know, just sitting with other people that you don't know and just being open to new challenges. Absolutely. And that's high school in a nutshell. Yeah. And we have this added element, but you know, it's going to make us stronger in a lot of ways. So, yeah, I mean, if this is one thing in a whole lifetime, you know, there's, there are so many challenges. You get through this, you can get through a lot of things. And that's right. Well. That's really right. That's really right. Now, one last question. Anything fun this summer? Did you have any standout moment? Well, every summer lately, I've been taking apart a different room in my home and redoing mm -hmm. it. So um, I did a bathroom this summer and it looks really nice now. That's cool. Um, but I did have a grandchild. I have a grandson. His name is Theo. He was born in June. Oh, awesome. So, yeah. So congratulations. I'm happy Thank That's you. Great. I just I can't see him because he's not in the country. Okay. He's, in, uh, he's out of the country right now. Okay, cool. Well, look, guys, if you're lucky enough to have Mr. Roman, then you'll be seeing, seeing him shortly. Awesome. All right.